Hi, I'm Steve Smith, AICHE's Director of Publications. I'm here today at AICHE's 2015 annual meeting with Samir Mitragoltri. Samir is a professor of chemical engineering at the University of California, Santa Barbara, the founding director of that school's Institute of Bioengineering, and a prolific author, highly cited, uh, an inventor with more than 100 patents pending or issued, and he, uh, the annual meeting to, uh, yesterday received the 2015 Andreas Akravos Award for Professional Progress. Most interestingly today, and what we really want to speak about Samir, is that uh, he will become the uh, founding editor-in-chief of AICHE's first new journal in many years, Bioengineering and Translational Medicine. So Samir, uh, why, why uh, do you think it's appropriate to be launching a, a journal in this space at, at this time? So this I think is a very exciting time to launch this journal because the focus which is translation and bioengineering are two of the most active areas in chemical engineering. So over the years, chemical engineers have made outstanding contributions to scientific discoveries and technological innovations that have formed the basis of new healthcare technologies. But discovery is the first step, or invention is the first step, and to take it from that point all the way to clinical technology is a lot of work. And a number of things had to be addressed, and those come within the realm of translation. And as the field matures in terms of new invention that come into the, uh, into the play, translation becomes a bottleneck and becomes more important. So the journal is really about identifying issues, figuring out ways to address them, and highlighting the success stories in translation of technologies into clinical technologies. Uh, what are some of the technical areas that you think the journal will be covering? Uh, there are many. Uh, to highlight a few, drug delivery, including uh, nanoparticles for drug delivery, biomedical devices for drug delivery, implanted devices, new materials that can be used for tissue engineering or regenerative medicine, uh, new sensors for detecting new biomolecules or developing ultra-sensitive technologies for detection of diseases. All these areas, if you look at uh, AICHE's annual meeting program, you'll see that chemical engineers have made outstanding contributions. So these are the areas, I would think, where chemical engineers have really uh, done well. And translation of those areas, I think, is something what we'd like to highlight mm -hmm. in the journal. How, how does this tie into your own research group and your own research interests? Uh, it ties in very well. Uh, so over the years, as you mentioned, we have uh, uh, invented a number of patterns and we would love to see these uh, technologies used in the clinic. And we have made uh, a lot of progress in our lab where we uh, have made an effort to identify uh, the next step for the development of the technology and identify clinical collaborators, commercial partners to take it to the next level. So this area of translation, both clinical and commercial, is something that is of high importance to me and my lab. So that actually is a perfect match for the focus of this journal. Mm -hmm. uh, I know recently you were inducted into the National Academy of Engineering, so congratulations Thank on you. that. That's quite an achievement. And uh, I sure is a recognition of, of your work in this area. Uh, it might be of interest to people who are watching just uh, to tell a little bit more about your educational background and uh, the people who really got you uh, started on the path to uh, integrating biology and engineering and medicine. Yeah, so I am a chemical engineer by training. My undergraduate uh, was in chemical engineering from the Institute of Chemical Technology uh, in India. Uh, I did my PhD also in chemical engineering uh, from MIT and I'm in the Department of Chemical Engineering. So I'm a chemical engineer mm -hmm. uh, uh, throughout my training and professional career. And I got introduced to biology as a part of my PhD. And I was fascinated how the interface between chemi and biology has opportunities and interesting problems. And that really got me uh, engaged in the field. And the number of uh, problems, number of challenges are outstanding and uh, uh, the uh, the intellectual stimulation that I get from exploring these problems has been phenomenal. So 
that has been uh, sort of my uh, uh, motivation to continue to work in this area and at the same time identifying these interesting solutions and taking them into the clinic I think is a very satisfying uh, 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 exploration if you will. So uh, you know uh, these problems at the interface have been uh, very fascinating. You know, people often talk about how chemical engineers are meeting the challenges of energy and food and water and healthcare, and certainly this is an example of how chemical engineers are doing it, and you're an example of how chemical engineers are doing that. So I want to say thank you for being with us today and mention that uh, the new journal will be AICHE's first open access uh, and online only journal. So. Uh, we hope you will contribute and read in the new year. Thank you.